Welcome back to the Int Plus One channel. Now we're going to actually play Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. And honestly, this is actually a pretty popular game. Uh, as far as popular games went on the Sega Genesis, this was one of the best. Uh, visually, the scale of the game, and, and really because of the unique way that Sonic and Knuckles as a cartridge would actually interface with Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So what this does is if you play it with Sonic the Hedgehog 3, you actually go through all of the Sonic 3 levels. And then once your Sonic 3 levels are complete, it actually continues on to the Sonic and Knuckles levels. So this effectively doubles the game. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 had a save feature which was not included in Sonic and Knuckles. So when you couple it like this, you're also able to save the game. So I think that that's right there a huge huge uh advantage so we're gonna play one player <clears throat> now i have the choice i can play as knuckles i can play as sonic and tails just sonic or just tails <clears throat> and i'll tell you i'm not 100 percent sure because knuckles has some cool moments and you know he can climb walls um, you know, Sonic and Tails is pretty classic. Uh, Just Sonic is kind of classic for the first Sonic game. And Just Tails? Just Tails is actually a really cool gameplay experience because in Sonic and the Hedgehog 3, they introduce the ability to manually control Tails' flight. And then Tails 2 can also become Super Tails and then Hyper Tails. And so I'm given a lot of background. Maybe I should just play it. So we're going to play as Tails. This will be a little non-traditional. We're gonna create a new one. <clears throat> All right. Now, one of the reasons, again, why I like Tails is that his ability to fly allows you to explore sort of non-traditional paths or come up with your own path in the, uh, in the game. But now he has a couple disadvantages. Whereas Sonic is capable of utilizing uh, the powers of the shields, but the only thing that Tails can really do is breathe with the water shield or the bubble shield. <clears throat> and uh, he also has the ability to use the, the lightning shield. But he can't do anything really with the fire shield. Um, Alright, well that's not true. But we'll, we'll see. Alright, so we're going to do the blue sphere game. Now one of the best strategies to use actually is to go completely on the outer edge of the uh, of the blue spheres because you'll capture everything on the inside and if you capture everything on the inside they also turn the rings some of the sounds actually don't sound quite right I'm not sure why that is now these uh, these levels honestly are pretty difficult I spent a good amount of time as a kid trying to perfect the way in which to do this. And the first the first four or five I can usually do with no problem. But I believe that Sonic 3 had eight Chaos Emeralds, or it was seven, and I'm just misremembering. And so the longer that you spend on the stage, of course, the the faster it gets. <gasps> See? <clears throat> and it's touchy. It's really touchy. If you don't make exactly the right turn, you're gonna miss out. So I actually missed out on getting the first Chaos Emerald. Totally not pro. Because I was five spheres away, we were just about to do it. Yeah, I gotta continue. Okay. Continues are okay. But my goal through this playthrough actually is to in fact get all the power-ups so you can see super tails you can see hyper tails and we actually have the opportunity to kind of use his superpowers right so hyper tails is cool because in addition to being invincible and moving fast you also have some uh, what they call flickies right and flickies are actually a reference to an old uh, master system game called flicky and I, you know, I exposed my daughter to it a long time ago when she was a when she was a little kid. Uh, I gave her this little miniature. Um, it's a Sega Genesis, and it was made by I think At Games. Uh, I bought it 
really on the cheap. I think like $25 at a Target. And I saw some similar things sold years later. Um, but that actually didn't seem to be as high quality. Because I know that the sound emulation was incorrect. And of course, you know, really, a big part of the experience, you know, there's nothing you can do here, by the way. I mean, you can't, you can't kill this thing, you can't stop it, it's just gonna burn down the forest. It makes me feel better, though, to actually hit it. So, we still have the happy music, but it turns out that, the, you know, <laughs> uh, that things suck for everybody now in the forest. Uh, in addition to being robots, now everything's aflame. And, and really, here I am bouncing inside of a gumball machine, right? Like, that's useful. I'm gonna go gamble, I guess, and uh, let all the forest animals burn. Oh heck. Alright, well... Oh, I didn't want the fire shield. Uh, I'm gonna lose it. Alright, that's okay. So we'll have another shot in just a moment to do the, uh, the blue sphere game. If I go to the left here, I'm gonna lose my fire shield soon, I think, though. Because the moment I touch the water, it just goes away. Alright, we're gonna do this the safe way. Sometimes with the spring, you can miss it. All right, so we're doing a different blue sphere level. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this will go a little bit better. I think I made a wrong turn. It's not a big deal. Ultimately, we, we get to see everything, no matter which way I go. Some of the later ones, you don't want to make a wrong turn, because then you're actually running over red spheres that you cannot avoid. One of the things, actually, that while I'm doing this, and I'm sure it's... I, I can't tell if this is very entertaining, but as I'm doing this, I'd like to point out that the music in this game is actually, I think, exceptional um, for the Sega Genesis. Alright, so now I'm a little lost, actually, and it's just going to get faster, so I really need to find where I need to go, like, badly. Why, why can't I find where I need to go? Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> there we go, oh. That should have been the last stop. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> no! Oh my God. <laughs> this really never happens to me actually. I, I feel like I'm I'm apologizing for ED here, but maybe it's performance anxiety, right? You know, maybe because I'm doing it in front of so many people, or potentially so many people, I'm just totally failing. Uh, normally by this point, I do have, in fact, two Chaos Emeralds, and I'm, I'm well on my way to actually having Super Whoever, um, I think, by Marble Garden Zone. That's all right. You know... The length of the levels too in Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is just so massive compared to the uh, the older Sonic games. All right, now I like this shield because it lets me grab uh, it lets me grab rings just by being near them. And there's there's some good advantages to that, and there's some disadvantages to the shield too. Because actually, I'll tell you what, I think... Oh, no. No, actually, this shield does the same thing. It does bounce projectiles. Alright. <clears throat> so, welcome to our first boss. Now, had I grabbed the fire shield, which I didn't need it, but had I grabbed the fire shield, I actually would not be in any danger of taking damage from anything about this boss. That's okay. Like, I don't, I don't need the fire shield to be successful against this boss. Is it suboptimal? Sure. But this is also a really easy boss. I mean, ridiculously easy. 
Come on, give me something cool. Or just stick in the ground. Yeah, that's fine too. So if you bounce the, um, if you bounce the sign, it'll land in certain spots, and occasionally you'll get power-ups. I don't remember the 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 why of it. Like maybe not the why of it. I don't remember the how of it. To guarantee that I get the specific power-up that I want. So we're gonna blow through here. We're gonna make another attempt at the special stage, and so we're actually going on to harder levels, and we actually have not even completed a sink. Will we? I. No! <sighs> oh my gosh. Hey, this is raw. I'm not gonna redo it just to do it perfectly. So, y'all are gonna be stuck with whichever power ups I do or do not have if you're watching me. Um, I'm hoping that you're watching for the entertainment value and not to watch somebody play perfectly. Because you're not going to get that uh, from me at all right now. But yeah, so also, too, I don't know if you noticed, but Tails Doggy Paddle. So he actually has the ability to swim in water, and that is, when we're talking about the realm of something being useful, that is incredibly, incredibly useful. Because I can start off swimming, and I can continue flying, actually, once I hit the air. And... The level of, of useful that that actually is. All right, we're gonna go in, into here. Hopefully not get three Robotniks in a row. Because if you get three Robotniks in a row, you, you will in fact lose it all. Great. It's kind of rare to get three Robotniks in a row though. Whatever. I'll cut my losses. 50 rings? Not bad. Um, I haven't even really taken a lot of damage. <laughs> As I speak, though, I just lose my shield. Because I've just taken a hit of damage. Oops. I did that wrong. Yeah, as a, as a kid, I really enjoyed uh, just charging up my spin dash. But it turns out that, for the most part, your basic usage spin dash, just one charge, just one press of the button, actually will get you where you need to go. Most of the time. It's not always true. But it's true enough. And, like, I always hated this platforming part, so just <laughs> skipping that is really nice. Now, I think here's another shot. Nope, it's not another shot at the, uh... That's not another shot at it. And I actually then may have glossed over another opportunity in this stage. To, uh... To go ahead and get the, um... I'm drawing a blank. But the minigame... The Collect Blue Spheres minigame. I think I passed it up by accident. That's okay. I, mean, I don't have to do that. The game's still enjoyable even if I never become super or hyper. And if you're really curious, you know, either I'll do another gameplay uh, video and I'll try and do it perfectly. But you can look it up on YouTube or you can look it up any number of places. You can see screenshots. Yeah, you're kind of missing out on something special. That's all right. So as long as you hold right, you'll never get hit by this. Now, it's funny, too. If you play this part with Sonic and Tails, Tails never runs properly in this section. So he will constantly hit the bombs, and then he'll fall back to where he's just kind of in uh, at the left edge of the screen. This, bot this boss battle is actually pretty easy with Tails. Now he's going to destroy that bridge. But I don't like to... Oh yeah, I don't like to mess around with it. Well, no, wait. No, this boss battle isn't specifically easy with Tails. Boom, boom, boom. We love the magic number eight in the uh, Sonic series. For whatever reason, it is just 
the amount of hits that kills the boss. And I like this too, because I can kind of fly up here and not have to wait. I release my animal friends. All right, you know, I got the birds and, well, they're all birds. And, uh, some kind of fowl. All right, so Knuckles is gonna be a jerk. He's like, hey, ha ha ha, I see that you're on a bridge. And Tails, it turns out that although you can fly, you're not gonna do it because story. So that's okay. Welcome to Hydro City. Now, I'll tell you, when I was really young, <clears throat> Hydro City was uh, the bane of my existence. Because there was a part that I didn't understand what to do. <clears throat> it's kind of the same thing, actually, with the uh, Carnival Night Zone. I've met a lot of people that did not know that you could press uh, up and down to get past a certain part in Carnival Night. Uh, I specifically worked with a guy, actually, who, <laughs> when, he, when, I, when I told him, he was like, you know, it's like, man, I got stuck at the same part I got stuck at when I was younger. And I was like, oh, wait, yeah, you just press up and down. <laughs> and it's unfortunate, too, because it's just, it's not obvious, right? It is not obvious that that's what you would do, because in terms of what the games expose you to as concepts, it's actually never exposed you to it. It's never even given you a hint. And it's maybe the singular example of really poor game design for Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Which at the moment, yes, we're still in the Sonic 3 levels. We're just in uh, Zone 2, Act 1. And so, you know, unlike, uh, unlike Sonic the Hedgehog 1, where each area pretty much, I think, ex you know, entirely. Each area actually had three acts. And so each area is basically, uh, the areas are broken down into uh, zones and acts, all right? So in Sonic 3, you have, I believe, well, now hold on, I could be spacing on this. I know that Sonic the Hedgehog 1, you had three acts per zone. Sonic 2, they actually scaled that back to two acts per zone, with one exception, um, and that was, oh, uh, you know, I can't think of the name of it. I can, I can picture it, though, visually in my head, but I can't think of the name of it. So this boss is pretty easy. It doesn't cause a lot of problems for Tails, either, because, I mean, you know, I can just, I can just do this number. Oh, but that, that caused a problem because here's where it gets hard, right? So I've actually lost my window to hit him. It's not typical, actually. I would normally have hit him a couple of times. I may lose. Let's see. I have no capacity whatsoever to take any damage at all. But if I can play the smart, I may be able to beat him. I can safely do one hit now. So as long as I can jump up. Ha ha ha! I refuse. All right, that worked out okay. I'm actually trying to make sure that I don't drown uh, during the, the recap. I believe the very first versions of Sonic 3, you could actually technically drown while you're standing there and like, you know, like, yeah, I beat it! And then all of a sudden you drown. <laughs> um, now, I'm not sure, though. But I swear I remember that actually literally happening to me. Okay, so this part here. This part, in my opinion, sucks. It's really hard. And... I died on it so many times as a kid. And now I know I'm taking my sweet time. What? So that's not supposed to happen at all. I I got lucky. I really got lucky in a way that I should not have. Oh, so earlier I was talking about the music. Okay, so the music in this game, it's uncredited, but uh, Michael Jackson actually had a uh, creative direction on the music. And I, I can't remember the, the why of it, right? Oh yeah, no. What I've read is that he felt like the music quality, or specifically the, the synthesis of the Genesis 
for sound was so poor quality that he didn't want his name attached to it. And, you know, I, I think he's wrong. But I can't argue with him, the guy's gone. And, and even if he was still around, it's not like I actually talked to Michael Jackson ever, right? Um, you know, I was I was still a bit of a, of a kid, really, when he was uh, in his prime. Before, you know, before controversy, before whichever things happened that sort of altered his uh, public appearance. All right, so that's okay. Go Tails. But, yeah, after the first level, the music gets good, and I actually think the Hydro City music is wonderful. Marble Garden Zone, I have sort of mixed feelings about how good I think the music actually is. I think it's okay. But, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to that aspect, I'm... I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I would call Marble Garden one of my favorites. I will call Ice Cap Zone my favorite, though, I think, in this one. And maybe the next one being Carnival Night. But I don't believe I'm going to get to those videos today. And uh, actually, even if I do get to creating them, I know that with some of the, uh, some of the uh, appending I need to do, with the, uh, the, the pre-pending I need to do, <clears throat> with the intro video. It's gonna take a little bit longer to do than, I, than is ideal. Hey, look, we get to be invincible again. Like, what are the, sh what are the odds? All right, come on. Yes. I love how I'm invincible and I'm just spending all this time getting blown in the air. Oh, whatever. I, I didn't need that anyway. It's not like we're, uh, okay. You know, and actually a game that I'd, I'd like to do on this channel then would, would eventually be, um, would eventually be Sonic Generations. It's okay. It's not quite, I think, what I was looking for in a Sonic game, but for a 3D Sonic, it really hit the marks in a lot of ways. Now, it would have been nice if, um, if they had actually maybe kept the Sonic and Tails motif, and really what I want. I don't even necessarily want an HD Sonic the Hedgehog game. Okay, that's unlikely. The level is designed in such a way that you're supposed to actually do that. <laughs> uh, so I, I kind of can't believe that it timed like that. It's okay, but in the realm of things that should not have happened, that actually should not have happened. That was not even player error. That was like, that was what I was supposed to do. If we're kind of trying to play this perfectly. See, anyway, that's okay. So like, it didn't happen that time, but I also was not set up to, uh, to get in there. Right? And I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to play the games perfectly. But I do have enough experience with Sonic the Hedgehog 3 that not being able to do it like that sort of is ridiculous because I, I know how to do it. Alright, so I'm going to actually end this video uh, right after we beat the boss for this level, which is coming up very soon. Like, kind of nowishly. And you know what? Actually, we're going to grab... Uh, we're going to... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, right. Sorry, I forget. Uh, we're playing uh, Sonic and uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles because this is actually not part of Sonic 3. <clears throat> now, supposedly, uh, Sonic and Knuckles was actually supposed to be part of Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Now, it wasn't. Can I touch the bottom of that? I can, okay, no, I can't. See, this is one of those advantages of Tails, because his ability just makes his boss incredibly unfairly easy.
because there's really no disadvantage to just flying to your heart's content and just... Now, I have no rings. Nice. I'm not sure actually why I just got... Oh, or did I actually hit a score maximum that gave me another life? All right, so look, we got through act two. I'm actually pretty comfortable then with going ahead and quitting now right at the beginning of Marble Garden. We'll pick it up later. Thanks for tuning in. I'm just going to let him die or hit whatever. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Really enjoyed doing this. One of my favorite games. Sonic the Hedgehog actually meant a lot to me in my life. Stay tuned, and I'll see you again. Oh, subscribe. You want to subscribe. You want to press that button. You want to watch more videos by me. Okay? Part of this, I'm trying to raise money for some good things. I'm trying to get on my feet financially, and I'm trying to provide for my daughter. So any little bit of subscriptions, any little bit of...